Well, it's now official. The market has made new all-time highs and wiped out all of the coronavirus losses. But what if I told you, really only five companies should deserve credit for these new all-time highs? In this week's video, we'll cover the news and returns from last week. We'll also discuss why only five companies really deserve the credit for our recovery. And lastly, we'll touch on the new FDA-approved plasma treatment for COVID-19. As Matt just mentioned, the S&P 500 made a new all-time high last week based off of strong manufacturing and housing data that came out, where they both beat their expectations. Now, existing home sales jumped about 25% in July versus what they were in June. And it's also important to note that the average selling price for homes also reached an all-time high. It wasn't just all good news last week, as there was one major negative news story, and that's that another 1.1 million Americans filed for unemployment after finally going under 1 million just a few weeks ago. The S&P 500 was up about three quarters of a percent last week, pushing its all-time highs, now up over 5% for the year. The Dow Jones was flat last week, still down 2% year to date. The NASDAQ was up over 2.5%, now up over 26% for the year, where the Russell 2000 was down over 1.5%, now down almost 7% year to date. Foreign markets are down about a half a percent last week, now down over 7% for the year, where emerging market stocks were barely positive, and now they're down over 1% for the year. As I said at the beginning of the video, the S&P 500 closed at all-time highs last week. But as I also said, we can really only credit five companies for this achievement. And it truly is a historic achievement because normally it takes about four years to recover from a bear market. But we did it in just six short months on the backs of these five companies. If you took out these top five companies from the market, it would actually still be negative, down over 5%. And the top five companies alone are up 60% for the year, which has contributed over 10% of return to the overall market. Now you can look at this one of two ways. On one hand, you could say that the real economy hasn't recovered and it's showing by the 495 companies that haven't rebounded yet. Or on the other hand, you could say that there's a huge opportunity for these companies to start contributing as the economy continues to reopen. We're looking at this as a huge opportunity. And if the market can push through the next couple volatile months leading up to the election and hold on to this all time high, we could be looking for a big push out of the S&P 500. On to the topic about getting the economy reopened and things back to normal. The FDA fast-tracked the approval of a plasma treatment for COVID-19. Essentially, this treatment takes plasma from the blood of somebody that already had coronavirus, and they transfer that into a patient that currently has coronavirus, helping them jumpstart their immune system to help fight the disease. And a study done by the Mayo Clinic showed a 35% drop in mortality rate for patients when they received the plasma treatment. This is not only good news for the economy, but also it's helped boost markets from around the world. And we've seen that here Monday morning. This week ahead, we're watching energy prices closely as we may have a historic weather event in the Gulf with two hurricanes possibly hitting the coast at the same time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow us on Facebook. See you next week.